All Japan Pro Wrestling's 50th anniversary just took place this weekend. It was in, of course, the Budokan Hall. Man, of course, why would you have it in any other place besides the Budokan Hall when it comes to the 50th anniversary for All Japan Pro Wrestling? So we have three, no, take that back, four big championship matches on this show. Of course, we have some familiar faces for All Japan Pro Wrestling, some faces from other pro wrestling organizations as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the show. Like I said, we were in the Budokan Hall. We had an attendance of 4,780. And you can catch us on alljapanprowrestling.tv. If you are subscribed to that, I definitely suggest subscribing to it. So without any further ado, let's get into these matches. First match we have, we have Rising Hayato and Ryo, Ryo Inoue taking on defeating Oi Oja Shiba and Yasuke Kodama. A little under five minutes, four minutes and 18 seconds to be exact. Thought this match was okay. Thought it was a solid opener. It, I enjoyed it. It felt like it was over just as it was starting. So moving on, up, down, whatever you want to look at down the card. We have ATM, Misua Nagagi, Tajiri, and Yoshitatsu taking on defeating Andy Wu. One of my favorites, you guys' favorites, everybody's favorite. Black Minzori, Inzanagi, and Sushi. That eight-man match was over about six minutes and four seconds right here. So always good to see Tajiri. I felt like I haven't seen Yoshitatsu in a nice little bit, so it's always good to see him as well. Uh, Black Minzari, you already know what it is if you're familiar with him. Comedic guy. Nice, fun, you know, mix-up to this match. And I felt like I haven't seen Sushi in a while either, so this match was actually refreshing. See a lot of these guys right here. Now we move on to a six-man match on this card. We have Cyrus, Jun Saito, and Rai Saito defeating Koei Sato, Suji Ishikawa, and Yukio Naya around 7 minutes and th uh, 38 seconds was the time on this match. thought this match was solid. I kind of wish they would have had a little bit more time to do their thing right here. Always good to see my man Suji Ishikawa. You know what I mean? Fa like, a favorite of this channel. So we, even though we haven't really talked about a lot of All Japan Pro Wrestling in a little while, Suji Ishikawa... Former Triple Crown Heavyweight Champion, definitely a favorite of people here on this channel. So we're moving on to our first title match on this show, the All-Asia Tag Team Championships. We had Dan Tamura and Hikaru Sato taking on and defeating the Voodoo mur uh, Murderer, excuse me, Minoru and Tojizo around 14 minutes and 22 seconds. So we get our first title change of the show. And I was wondering, coming in, how many championships we would get changing hands on this 50th anniversary show. Were the champions going to stand pat or were we going to have a, you know, changing of the guard, so to speak? And this is the first changing of the guard we have with this show. New All-Asia Tag Team Champions right here. Moving on to the card, up to the card, excuse me. We have Minoru Suzuki, the king of pro wrestling, taking on defeating Hakoto Omori. 12 minutes and 4 seconds right here. I enjoyed this match a whole lot. I'm enjoying the, I guess, excursion that Suzuki's pretty much going on right now. It's not really an excursion. He's just taking a worldwide tour because that's what bosses do. And we all know Suzuki is the boss of all bosses right here. Next match we have up on the card, we had Yuji Nagata taking on defeating Yuma Enzai. I'm sure I butchered that young man's name right here. About 9 minutes and 9 seconds. Yuji Nagata can still go. If you don't think so, man, I would say that you're sadly mistaken. Still a beast in this ring, and he proved it here. Didn't need to go too long. I felt this went the appropriate length that it needed to. 9 minutes and 9 seconds is, a, I think, a good amount of time for a Yuji Nagata match at this, point on, at this point on the card, shall I say. So, moving on. To one of the matches I like most on this card right here. We had Yuma Yagi taking on defeating Chris Dan Christopher Daniels, the fallen angel Christopher Daniels. A little under 12 minutes, 11 minutes and 31 seconds right here. Solid match, man. I feel like with the role that Christopher Daniels has partaken on on the AEW side of things, it's pretty much his in-ring career is kind of dwindling down here. And it's always good to see him in a ring because he's always been a master class pro wrestler. And he just proves that with his years in the game, he just gets smarter and smarter. And that's what we got right here. Putting a young guy over as he should, man. Coming over, doing the honors, the ceremonies, if you will. Like I said, a little under 12 minutes. Next match we had, one of my favorites. We all know, Toshi Onita, Masanabu Fuchi, and Shiro Koshinaka taking on defeating a great Kojika, Masao Inoue, and Yoshi, Yoshizaki uh, Yatsu. Got the victory around 11 minutes and 55 seconds right here. Of course, we had some of the elder statesmen in pro wrestling. So, nah, this match was fun. Of course, you know, Tushi Onita, one of my favorite guys. Right, here. Of course, I'm going to enjoy this match. And I, I thought it was what it was. What it was. I wasn't expecting a five-star classic. Of course, that's not what we got. We got some more familiar spots from our familiar guys right here. It was fun. It was fun. That's, that's what I'll say. So, next match we had on the card... 
we had for the All Japan World Tag Team Championships. We had Gungar of Anarchy to uh, Ryuki Honda and Shitara Oshino defeating Get Wild, Manabu Soya, and Takao Amori. 16 minutes and 22 seconds right here. thought this match was okay. Um, maybe leaving a little bit more to be desired right here. No title change. The World Tag Team Champions stand pat. They keep their belts right here. Looking on to their next challenger. Speaking of next challenger, their next match on this card is for the All Japan World Junior Heavyweight Championship. We got Atushi Oyagi taking on defeating the New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestler. The current reigning defending all Japan Pro Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Champion of the World Tiger Mask right here, 1323. And Tiger Mask has kind of had a stranglehold over the All Japan Junior Heavyweight Division for the last few months. So we needed a All Japan guy to finally upsurp him and get that belt back. And that's what happened right here. Maybe I'll, maybe Tiger Mask come back over to New Japan or he'll stay over here at All Japan. We'll see. But either way, I kind of feel like he's better utilized over in All Japan, this, if you ask me. This is my personal opinion. Then the penultimate match of the show for the Triple Crown, number one contendership. We got Naoya and Nomura taking on defeating Jake Lee, 43 seconds. I really can't rate that because that's under a minute right there. So Naoya and Nomura is the new number one contender. And speaking of the Triple Crown heavyweight championship, we got Kento Miyahara taking on and defeating Suwama. Getting the victory, of course, with that straight jacket. German suplex around 16 minutes and 35 seconds to be exact. And this is Kento Miyahara, sixth reign with the title, defeating Suwama, who was in his eighth reign with the title. So Suwama, of course, is trying to make legendary status right here. It's crazy. He's only had the belt six times, even though six times is a lot. It just seems like he's had it a lot more because his reigns are pretty lengthy whenever he has them. So... I'm going to bring more All Japan to you guys. I think we have a, you know, have a satiation of our appetite for it. I think we all could probably keep our All Japan and see what they're doing. So as much as I can, I'll try to bring it to you guys, man. So that was the All Japan Pro Wrestling 50th Anniversary Show. If this is your first time checking us out, we are the almighty Els of West Wrestling Network. I am the Pro Wrestling Fly God, Stardust Shiaku, Blunt Cianido, signing off, man. You know what it is. Els of West Wrestling Network. Like, tell everybody you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. Price subscription, $3.99. So I'm getting up out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.